The red button cross. You on? This is the biggest yep. brook trout you've ever seen. I Holy guarantee it. Cow. That's a brook trout. Holy cow. That's a brook trout. That's a brook trout, baby. You might have to edit. I kept looking at it. It's okay. Wow. Yeah. Like I said, they just get old in here and die of old age. Wow. That's why I brought the net. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It'd be tough to land that by hand. Okay, look at that. My jig just popped out here. Or no, he Hit the red it. button again. To... No, keep it on. Keep it on for a second. Okay. Let me just kind of show you what I got here. He's old. This is an old fish. You can tell he's just... He's old. He's ancient. You know, it's just like any other. It's just probably your typical. That's oh, about five, maybe six pound brook trout. It's about a six pound brook trout, guys. That's what a six pound brook trout looks like here up in northern Ontario. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. That's what a nice, nice little six pound brook trout looks like. You know, I catch these all the time up in Michigan. I'm sure, right? Yeah. Lots of nice ones, just like this, right? So. Well, good. We're gonna keep, we're gonna put this guy on the supper table. I'm sure a lot of people would put him up on the wall, but for me, he's a he's a supper table trout. I catch he's enough a... of these each year that uh, I'm not really I'm not really worried about getting them mounted. But I just brought out just brought out a buddy from Michigan, and that's probably the biggest brook trout you've ever seen. That's right? That's the biggest brook trout I've ever seen. Yeah, that's what I figured. Six pounder. We get six inches. Yeah. So just to show you guys what I'm using here, right? He's got a he's got a jig head right and golf right down his stomach. Yes, he does. And that's uh, that was a jig head and a minnow. That's what he bit on. So at any rate, it's a nice nice little fish. Nice little fish indeed. It's on the one. bottom? On the bottom. Bounced it off the bottom, and then all of a sudden he was just there. He was just there. He just slammed it. Slammed it real hard. So that's good. good now we're gonna keep this fish because the brook trout in this lake don't spawn right and it was funny it was kind of funny as far as what just happened is in the sense of uh, we were looking at this fish jumping and Rick right yeah looked at this fish and I told him reel up as fast as you can and cast up at it and he took two casts at it and on his first cast he got nothing on his second cast he got snagged and snapped off and I said well you've had your two chances I'm gonna take my chance now and I cast it up and on my first cast I hooked into a six pound brook trout so that's what he looks like let me get a let me get a tape measure out, if I've got one here, just to kind of show you guys as far as length goes. I don't think I have one, but you can pretty well imagine. So I'm generally a very big advocate for releasing large fish, but when they get to be this size in these lakes, they don't really have too much longer before they're going to die. And so on that day, I just decided to keep them. And he also swallowed the hook pretty bad, so I didn't figure that he'd make it if I released him anyways. And if you look at the colors, they're really starting to fade, which meant he didn't have that much longer to live. The girthy body and silver coloration are very common for the brook trout found in the lakes, mostly due to their food source.